beast. Ooh. We dedicate your temple like the Maccabees. Ooh. Like the Maccabees. Ooh. Like the Maccabees. Ooh. Like the Maccabees. Like the Maccabees. Lineage up for you priests. Ooh. Like yeah. the Maccabees. Ooh. Like yeah. the Maccabees. <laughs> like the Maccabees. Lineage up for you priests. Dreads right here. Have you ever heard of the Apocrypha? You don't care? Hey, hey brother, do you care what happens to you when, the, when Donald Trump pressed the button? Huh? Yes, yes I do. Huh? I'm saying do you care what happens when Donald Tr Trump presses the button and Kim Jong-un presses the button and nuclear bombs come to America. Do you care what happens then? As a divine spirit. Okay, so you're saying you're the divine spirit, correct? As a divine spirit. By conception, yeah, but as a spiritual thinker, no. Okay. Are you in the human form now? Huh? Okay, okay, so you believe in the 12 laws of the universe? I am the 12 laws of the universe. Give me wisdom of Psalm chapter 13. I am the universe. You are the universe. Yes. Okay, okay. The word Y-O-U means your whole universe. You got nine holes in your body for the soul of the same brain I got. No, I'm, I'm asking and inquiring how can I get to your spiritual level? Because I'm no different than you. You got to avoid it. You got to seek. You got to seek it earnestly. I'm seeking you right now. Teach me the 12 laws of the universe. Uh, Read wisdom of Psalm 13, man. Our people are so deep. Hey, if you if you the twelve laws of the universe, do a uh do a solar flare right now. Do a solar flare. Uh, huh? Me? Yes. Well, I have a, how can you know I have a hold that sign hold that sign right there? I'm gonna show you that I don't have a European approach. Look, look. This proves that we don't have a European approach. Huh? Okay, that's what I'm asking you. Explain the 12 laws of the universe to me. Why? What you got? Why? Huh? Why? Want me to tell you why, brother? No, I'm not going to attack it. We're going to build together. You don't see the 12 laws. Huh? You're not seeing them. Look with your brain. I'm going to tell, tell you what I see. I'm going to tell you what I see. I see a God on this earth. That's what I see. And you know why I see a God? Not because of the 12 laws of the universe, but because you're an Israelite according to the Bible. That's what you are. Prove that you're not. Prove what is Israel. Prove what is Israel? Okay, give me Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to prove it. I, 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 I asked you to show me 12 laws and you asked me a question. I'm going to prove it. Okay. 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 Alright, cool. Alright. Hold the hold the twelve the ships up. Hold the ships up. I'ma tell you something that I experienced, that I seen, and that I felt. Bro, I'm trying to answer your question. You keep talking. Let me answer the question first. Thank you. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee. Into Egypt again. Into Egypt. Egypt means bondage according to Exodus 20 verse 2. Bring e into Egypt bondage again with what? Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. So my forefathers felt them ships. My right. forefathers felt each other defecating on each other. Right. My forefathers and foremothers felt them having babies on each other. Yeah. I am my forefathers, therefore I felt it as well. Yeah. And that's the truth according to the Bible, and that's true right. according to history. Right. I haven't, right now, I have not been on the ship. Have you ever been to the Nile Have you ever been on the moon? Have you ever been to the Nile Have you ever been to Jupiter? Yeah. I'm asking you, 12 laws. You, you being sarcastic, ask me, have I ever been on the ship? I have. So you've been on the slave ship? When I was in bondage, yes. Have you ever been to Egypt in this world right now? Everything you talk about, have you seen it? Not in this regeneration, no. So explain me what regeneration means. 
Since you so deep, you wanna get deep? We can get deep. Give me Isaiah 55 and 8, and then give me saying Sirach. Seek the things too hard for thee. I wanna prove to you this right here, bro. I wanna tell you, well, I'm not gonna prove it, I'm gonna tell you. Brother, you are not a star. You are not some solar flare. You are not the 12 laws in the universe because if you say that I'm coming from a European perspective, the 12 laws in the universe doctrine came from your oppressor. Right, right. So if you're following the 12 laws of the universe, you come from a European perspective. Everybody in this book comes and looks sun. like me. I come from the sun. That's why I'm getting You come from the sun? That's why I'm getting I come from the, I come from yeah, You come from the sun? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You come from the sun. Same property right here. Don't okay. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Read, give me what you got. Read it. Read 55 One second, bro. One second, bro. I want you to hear this one thing right here. Watch this. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. God formed the uh, heavens and the earth. Right? Bro, you don't want to listen, bro. Read on. But for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, uh -huh. saith the Lord. Uh -huh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. So God's ways and God's thoughts are higher than your ways. We're reading the Bible. The 12 laws of the universe is not in the Bible. Give me Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13, start at verse 1. Because if you say that I am the Son, you are commemorating the Son more than the Father. That's right. You're saying the son is more important than the father. Right. So, how do you spell yesterday? Huh? How do you spell yesterday, nigga? I'm not a nigga. Listen to what I'm telling you. How can you. How can I spell yesterday? Teach me. Yesterday is Sunday, right? It's your end day. Okay. Right? Okay. The same properties in the sun, the UV rays, it's on the city, terror hurts. Okay. You understand me? That's why we don't get skin cancer. Okay. You understand me? It's people on earth that do. What about melanin? Is, does melanin play a part in any of that? I'm asking you. Bro, bro, bro. Bro, just jump off of the deep bandwagon and strife in the words and answer. Let me tell you the problem with you, bro. I asked you to prove the 12 laws in the universe. You told me, look at me, bro. Look at me, bro. Meaning you have no understanding. You don't know what the 12 laws of the universe are. Because God is the one that controls the elements. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 41 and verse what now? I comprehend. You comprehend? You telling me something that you ain't never experienced. I'm gonna tell you what the Bible say. Read. Man. Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 21. You tell me about the 12 laws of the universe when you don't been to Jupiter, when you don't been to the moon, when you don't been to Venus, when you don't been to Mars. Hey, and guess what? God made all of it. Why? Hey, we give it for free. Read. Produce your call. What does the Bible say? Produce your call. The Bible says produce your cause, 12 laws. Read. Say of the Lord. Say of who? Say of the Lord. Say of the Son. Say of the Lord. Say of God. Produce your cause. Read. Bring forth your strong reason. So teach us the 12 laws of the universe, brother. You're so deep. Read. Bring us your strong reason. Your strong reasoning. Bring it forth. So it can be destroyed by the Bible. Read. Right. Let them bring forth and show us what shall happen. Show us what shall happen. Tell me about yesterday. When God was the one that woke you up from yesterday. And gave you grace. And really is giving you a great opportunity to experience the Israelites right now. Hold your peace, brother. This is our form. You can have the mic, but I will answer your question if you have one. I promise, okay? Read. Let them show the former things. Show us the former things. Read. What they be, uh -huh. that we may consider them uh -huh. and know the latter end of them. So the brother had no understanding of the 12 laws of the universe. He doesn't even know what that means. Give me Wisdom of Solomon 13. Drop that. Start at verse 1. Read. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 and verse 1. Hey, brother, make sure you keep that flyer over there in the brown jacket. You are the Israelite according to the Bible. You must keep God's commandments. Hey, brother, while you wave off the prophets, listen to what God says about the stars. Read. Surely vain are all men by nature. Surely what? Vain are all men by nature. So I can't give you what I think. You can't give me what you think because the Bible says surely men are all vain by nature. Read. Read. Who are ignorant of God and could not out of the good things that are seen know him that is. Drop that. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. Because the problem is, is that the fact that as soon as our brothers learn something all their lives and then they try to get taught something different, they get angry. I'm not angry with you at all whatsoever. Yes, I'm speaking to you because you're my brother and I love you as a brother. You understand that? Read. 
Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So we're not to hate our brother in our heart. We're not supposed to want to shoot, kill, gang bang, or slain drugs to our brothers. You understand that? I, I still love you, brother Reed. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. You understand that? You understand that? Read on. And now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to read the scripture and I got you, okay? Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So if I see my brothers and sisters in sin, I'm not supposed to let them go and, and continue to live that way. You understand that? So, brother, what's your question? I cannot let you have the mic because we, I, but I'll let you speak into it. Here, just come up right here. What you got to say? Hey, because we, I, but I'll let you speak into it. Here, just come up right here. What you got to say? Hey, this way is well. This is my neighborhood in my block. I want to know why we kill each other every day. That's a great question. That's a great question, Wayne. Just read Leviticus 19 to 17 again. Read Leviticus 19, 17 again. Read. Yeah. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So the reason why we kill each other in our own neighborhoods is because we as a people hate each other. Right. We as a people do not see Christ in each other. Right. We as a people rather see a gang member sign or rather see a doctrine or rather see a color rather than see Christ is the representation of your brother. That's the problem with our people. So if you want to fix the black neighborhood, if you want to fix the Hispanic neighborhood, get real and keep God's commandments, man. Straight up, man. We ain't out here to sugarcoat nothing, bro. We out here to keep the commandments of God and teach our people the commandments of God. You understand that? Read on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. We, we, I'm gonna listen to you. I'm here. The 144 angels, right? 44,000? 44,000. Right, right. How many new rows do you have in your body? I don't know. Teach me. You have 144. Okay. And when they awake, that, they're not coming out of the sky. They're coming out of you. Right. They're inside you. Right. You don't know this. But the Bible just said what you just said, though. Can I prove that? The Bible said this. Brother, I'm not disagreeing with you. According, You're exactly wrong. You mean you're right. Hey, listen. According to Noble Jew Ali. Who? Noble. Jew, Noble Jew Ali, okay. When he went to Kemet. Okay, Kemetic. Right. Ham. He came back, what, what you talking about, right? What, what? He's, he's, you bring his perspective of the whole. Who, who? I'm, on, I'm, I'm trying to help, I'm trying to figure out, bro. Man, you're not being a scholar, bro. This scholarship be happening. Bro, listen to what I'm telling you, okay. Explain to me about the guy. Say the, say the dude's name again, bro. I'm trying to listen. Are, are, I'm asking, are you, are you... Are you referring to the 42 laws of Mahatma? I ain't referring to nothing. Okay, I'm asking. I said 144 neurons. Give me Revelation 7. Did I not say that? Neurons. That, it ain't coming out of the sky. That's in your body. When you is aligned, right? With the laws of the universe. Right. Okay. Those are the angels. Okay. The neurons. Okay. The, and the atom. Okay. The neutrons. And they're going to activate. Right. Okay, so. Which, which should be at, which you should have full activation of right now. Right now. Which you don't display. Okay, okay, so now. I'm, I'm showing more prudence than you is. Okay. And you claim to be the leader. Okay. Because I'm the shepherd. Because I care about my sheep. You just said I'm not talking to you. my sheep. But you just said it. You just called me a B word earlier. How can you be a shepherd and I you called, care about your people? I called your ways. Okay, all right. Well, can, can I just say one thing, bro, please? I got an eight and a half shoot. Okay. I can try to put it on you. But it won't fit. Right. So, bro, 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 bro let's build. Stay right here right quick, bro. I don't have time for that, bro. So you don't, so you a shepherd, you care about your people, but you don't have time to build with your brother. I care about the call. I don't care well, about the What this is the call? Revelation chapter I'm 7. Not. Revelation chapter 7 and verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand. Hey, of all the ch tribes of the children of Israel. Read that one more time. The 144,000, it's an idol according to it, and it's garbage. That's what it is. Read. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. The eye of Ra, the 42 laws of Mahat, Kemetic, Egyptology is garbage. Read. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed 144,000. Of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So the 144,000 are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, you see you get riled up and all that, bro. 
Hold on, hold on. Before you leave, though, before you leave, understand one thing. We at not one point did we say we're gonna put a bullet in your head. You came up here and said to us, he, he deserve a bullet in his head, and he's your brother. Hold on, wait, wait. We come out to the hood, bro. All we did was come out to the. Hey, go to Hosea four, uh, four verse six first, and then Hosea four and verse one. Because we come out here to teach the word of God. That's it. This brother threatened us with violence. He called us false prophets, put a bullet in his head. All kind of craziness. We would never speak to our brother like that. Not ever. Watch this though. Hosea 4 and 6. Let's see what the Bible say. Watch this. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed. God said that the Israelites, his people, are destroyed for what? For lack of knowledge. So at everything that the brother thinks he you knows, God said he's destroyed for the lack of knowledge. If you can look at me or your other brother in the hood and say he deserves a bullet in his head, you can't Tell me you got the truth or you got no knowledge. What person, what, what brother gonna look at his other brother and say he deserve a bullet in his head? Who gonna say that? Read that again. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because the brother clearly rejected knowledge. Read what God said. I will also reject thee. The most high God said he gonna reject him. Understand, all we doing is teaching the Bible, bro. That's it. I don't reject, I reject respect Bro, you rejected the most high. Watch this. Hosea 4 verse 1. Let me show you. Hey, hey, I'm going to show you what's... Okay, hold on, hold on. With what you talking about, how do we fix our neighborhoods? How do we fix our communities? You see what I'm talking about, Hosea 4 and 1. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. It says that the Most High God has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. We are the people that's inhabiting the land. We the ones in the ghettos. We the ones at the bottom according to breaking God's laws. Read. Because there is no truth, no most mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. So it says because there's no knowledge of God. Knowledge of God's laws. We come out and teach our brothers, hey, we got love for you. It's time to wake up, repent. The brothers say we deserve a bullet in our head. That's that's ridiculous. And that's why our communities are where they at. Read that. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Meaning that that's where you get black on black crime from. Blood touches blood. That's hatred that our brothers have. When all we're doing is reading what? The Bible. We're coming out with the words of the Most High God. It's a spiritual thing. That's why it affects our people so much. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So when something bad happens, when things start getting bad for our people, that's when they're going to start what? Questioning and asking for the Most High. That's right. Right? They're going to ask for the Most High then. But let me show you something. Give me Jeremiah 4.22 first. I got you. Oh, yeah, you know I got you. Watch this though. But I'm going to show you something. Our people know about the 12 laws of the universe. Right. They know about the sun, the, the spaceships. The energies, they know about everything. Proton, the proton. protons, the neurons, but when it comes to the most high, what they know? Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. Yeah. For my people is foolish. God said that his people, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians are foolish. Read. They have not known me. Uh -huh. They are Sodish children. Sodish means stupid. The most high God said that Sodish is this on? Yeah, I had to turn it down so I was complaining. Okay, okay, yeah. The most I said that our people are sottish, meaning stupid. Great. Right. Sottish children, and they have none understanding. And they have none understanding. They have no understanding of this Bible. That's why you come out and say, uh, what, what does he say? He said, he's going to put it in his head. He's going to say something that's going to set him on fire. What else he say? Call him a B word. Oh, okay, bro. And all he did was ask him what his understanding was. But he's a shepherd. He's a, shepherd. He's a leader for his people. No, no, no. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to They are wise to do evil. They are what? Wise to do evil. These brothers are wise to do evil. That's They're right. wise to talk about killing their own brother. Right. But we got to be one with the universe. Right. But you're going to put a bullet in your brother's head. Bring it out. Read that again. They are wise to do evil. They are wise to hate their brothers. Wise to uh, uh, come up with all these new doctrines. Read. <laughs> but to do good. But to do good, which is the laws of the Most High God. That's what we're teaching our people. We come out to every hood in Jacksonville, teaching the word of God, teaching our people to repent. That's the first brother that threatened to kill us 
talking about putting a bullet in one of our brother's head. What? For teaching the laws of God? Explain what you got. But to do good, they have no knowledge. But to do good, they have no knowledge. Amos 5 and 10. Amos chapter 5 and verse 10. They hate him that rebuke it in the gate. The Bible says that they hate him that rebuke in the gate. The brothers that come up and teach our people repentance, the Bible says that they hate those people. So when you see the men up here teaching the law, statutes, and commandments, you got brothers that want to kill us. Right. And they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. And they what? And they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. And they hate him that speak uprightly. What's wrong with brothers coming out to teach their people to repent and come back to God's laws? Giving a true understanding. Show hold that sign up right there. Showing that Christ is a black man according to the Bible. A so-called black man. Showing that the Israelites are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, and that the Most High God only came for you. Give me Proverbs 14, 21. Because our people have so much hatred for us to teach the word of God. What the Bible said that they're supposed to have. How you doing, brother? You got a fly, people give you a flyer. Alright, watch this. Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 21. Read that. He that despiseth his neighbor. He that despiseth his neighbor sinneth. But he that despiseth his neighbor sinneth. Read. But he that hath mercy on the poor, happy is he. You see that? So to hate your brother, you in sin. Yes. To come up here and hate the prophets of the Most High, God said that you are obviously in sin. Right. Right. You know what I want. The brother quite literally said he want to put a bullet in our brother's head. All the teaching we've done, I've never heard that crazy like that. When we come out and teach the word of the Bible, the word of the Most High, first John, you know, hate his brother the most. First John chapter 3 verse 15. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. So whoever hate his brother is a what? Is a murderer. So to hate your brother, God considers you to be a murderer. That's right. That's right. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. So that 12 laws of the universe ain't going to help nothing. Right. God said that he has no eternal life abiding in him. So right. Proverbs, what you got? John chapter 3 verse 19. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. Uh -huh. And men love darkness. Men love what? Men love darkness. The 12 laws of the universe. The neurons, the protons, all that garbage. Read. Rather than light. Rather than the laws of the most high God. Right. Give me Proverbs 11 verse 12. Right. I'm going to show you something. Let's see, with all the understanding that that brother has, let's see if the Bible says he's wise. Let's see. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 12. Read. He that is void of wisdom. He that is void of wisdom. Despise it. Neighbor. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you had, I thought you got the 12 laws of the universe. I thought you had all the understanding. Read that again. He that is void of wisdom. So the man that is void of wisdom, read, yeah. despises his neighbor. You see that? Right. Despises his neighbor. Right. So there's nothing that brother could have taught us but hatred. Right. And that's why we in the ghettos right now. That's why we in the slums. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.